Thank you for joining us on this AutoCAD 2012 video on how to create new layers. We'll assume that you've got the standard uh, screen layout as I have on the screen and that you are on the Home tab over here. Now on the Home tab by default there is a Layers panel just here and within the Layers panel you have the Layer Properties Manager which is the top icon, top left icon in the panel. When you click on the Layer Properties Manager, a dialog box will open, such as this one I've got displayed on my screen. Sometimes you may have these chevrons here collapsed, and you can click on them again to open what's called the Layer Tree over here. We'll totally ignore that area, as that's something we do on a different course in our advanced um, tutorials. All the layers in this particular drawing are on this side, or on the right hand side of the palette. And to create a new layer, you click on this new layer icon. What happens? A new layer is displayed on the right hand side of the panel. It's automatically called layer 1, or if layer 1 exists, layer 2 will automatically appear. The text layer 1 is highlighted, and this allows you to automatically change the um, layer name. I'm going to call mine blue circle. press enter when you renamed it. Going along the, um, the columns here are various bits and pieces. Um, we'll cover what they mean in, in the how to use layers section of, our, uh, of another tutorial. At the moment however I want to change my layer colour from white to black. So I'll click on the colour uh, black just here at the moment and change it to blue from the colours that are available. To the right of that, we have a line type of continuous. Now, if you want to change that, click on the word continuous, and um, you may or may not have some other layers, uh, line types loaded in here. If you don't, you can click on load, select the uh, line type that you want to load, do OK, and that appears in your list. Then select, reselect the uh, line that you want, click on OK, and then the line, line tape, this layer blue circle, is now this ACAD ISO 4W100. To the right of that you've got a line weight which is currently set at the default line weight. When you click on the default line weight you've got a choice of um, pre some preset line weights here and again select, select the one you want, click on OK. Two columns to the right there is a plot column and if you click on the plotter icon on the layer that you want a little red uh, mark appears and this indicates that everything drawn in this layer won't plot. To uh, make a plot again simply click on the printer icon. You can also put a description in here under the description um, anything really that you like. We won't do it from the moment. Now blue circle is currently highlighted and if I click on new layer again all the properties from the hi currently highlighted layer will copy down to another new layer. We'll call this just red SQ, short for red square. And I can change the colour from blue to red, the line type from ACAD ISO 4W, perhaps to continuous, and the line weight from 0.5 to something quite thick, 0.9. When you're finished, Close the layer properties manager down by clicking on the cross in the top left hand corner. Sometimes it might actually be in the top um, right hand corner. Okay, and you're now ready to draw. All the layers you've added will be in the layer states manager, which is here. Simply click on the arrow to the right of where it currently says layer zero and select the text part of the, in the list to make that layer current. Now, when you draw, as long as you've got these options up here set to by layer. The properties which you um, added to your layer will appear as you draw, like so. And if I change to red square, I'll do the same. Done. This concludes our AutoCAD tutorial on 2012 and how to create new layers.